So today we are going to be talking about the Inuit. Previously and popularly called Eskimos, though they prefer to be referred by their name, the Inuit, these are a group of people that were one of the last indigenous or native groups to arrive in North America. They are mainly people who live in Alaska and Canada, but also have been known to live in Greenland and Siberia. They are believed to have arrived between 6,000 BC and 2000 BC when they would have crossed the Bering Land Bridge, which once connected Northeastern Asia to America. Though there are still Inuit groups living and indigenous to many parts, we actually are missing a lot of their earlier historical backgrounds. And the Inuit groups are groups that settle a bunch of different parts and they're most known for their resourcefulness in harsher climates. When we think of Alaska, often when we think of Canada and Greenland and Siberia, we think of really cold, harsh weather climates, and that's true. And the Inuit really adapted to that lifestyle and a lot of their lifestyle choices, the way that they lived, are very different from, you know, how we live here in, at least in Chicago, but Certainly in most places, um, they absolutely, a lot of the things that they did were really suited to the cold weather and they are known for surviving well in those places. So the Inuit, something that drove their lifestyle was their hunting, right? So they actually divided the year into three different hunting seasons. And during those seasons, they would only mostly only hunt for that specific animal. And when they did hunt, when we think of hunting now, often we think of it as maybe just a food source. But for the Inuit, hunting wasn't just for a food source. They would really use the whole animal. They would use skin, bones, they would make clothing, they would use it to make homes, weapons, toys, many different things. So it wasn't just for food. Now the three hunting seasons are caribou, seal, and whale and the Inuit are probably most popularly known for their whaling which is whale hunting. So their lifestyle. As I've now mentioned the Inuit lived a very particular lifestyle and that's because of the climate that they live in and that has mostly been in really cold weather places. So first of all is hunting. Now I've already mentioned this. Hunting was a huge part of their lifestyle. It's because of the cold climates they weren't really able to grow crops in the same way that maybe warmer climates are. There isn't the same types of soil and grass that they would need. So they actually hunted and fished for all of their food year round. In terms of their homes they actually used two different types of homes. In the winter they would use dome-shaped homes made out of ice and snow. Can you guess what those are called? If you get igloos, you're right. So they lived in igloos during the cold weather. But during the warm weather, they would live in tent-like structures made of wood or whale bones and covered in caribou skins. And those tent-like structures are called Carmax. So they have igloos in the winter and Carmax in the warmer months in the summer. As far as transportation, they also would go from place to place in a very unique way. If you've ever heard of dog sledding or mushing, that is one of the ways that the Inuit will travel and still to this day do in the winter time. Dog sleds are sleds pulled by dogs, obviously just like it sounds. In the summer though, they would travel by boat. They would use kayaks or umiaks and these were long boats that often were better for whaling and for kind of fishing. So just like with their homes, they have a way to transport in the winter and a way to transport in the summer. Part of the Inuit culture was celebrations and feasts. One of their most popular feasts is called the Nalukatok, and this was the spring whaling festival. And here they would celebrate and appease the spirits of the whales that they'd killed during whaling. So all the whales that they'd hunted and used for food and supplies, this would be to honor the spirits of those whales and often included uh, having adults being thrown up into the air on cotton sheets and they would fly everywhere. In addition to their festivals, they also had a very unique religion. Part of their religious beliefs was carrying amulets as protective spiritual measures. They used shamans, which were medicine men. There were coming of age rituals, there were hunting rituals, and there was also a lot of dancing and music at some of the different religious occasions. Dance and especially drumming is a huge part of their beliefs. And finally, their family structure. So within a family structure, you might see five to six 
people in one family who would lived with six to 10 other families of the same size. They would live together, they would hunt and fish together, and they would travel together as well. So men mainly would build houses and hunt and fish while the women cooked, they dressed the animal skins, they made clothing, and they looked after the kids. In 1867, the United States bought Alaska and Alaska became a state of the United States of America. At that point, more whalers came to Alaska, which was a huge threat to the Inuit traders who weren't able to support themselves and their family. Whaling was a huge part of their trading and their economy. And at that point, their villages and their families started to die out and end. And this is especially in Alaska, but also tends to be true in some of the other places where Inuit live. But towards the late 19th century, early 20th century, there were many US government actions that attempted to improve conditions by helping with schooling, make more laws protecting them. And now a big part of their economy and ways that many Inuit make money and support their, themselves and their family is through their traditional artwork. I hope that you have learned about the Inuit and that you know something new. You probably have heard of dog sledding and igloos, but Perhaps you learned something more about where they come from and why they were used. Here are some pop quiz questions. Thanks for watching.